What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and finally we have got some news on co-op as well as a couple of other bits and pieces that we're going to get into in a minute. So we have got information regarding V2.6 and we are going to get into that. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and then we're going to have just a little bit of background uh, gameplay where we discuss a couple of things as well of where I think the game is going to be heading in the future. But look, this is big news for anybody that is interested in co-op and is interested in Dream Team and more modes, more stuff to do. Uh, you know, player attention is obviously of the utmost importance. So we're going to get straight into the content. And I think this is a game changer potentially for how good co-op could be, especially with how they implement it, because it opens up a world of new content. It opens up a brand new audience to playing with your friends and competing and stuff like that. And anyone that knows me will know that I probably played six, 700 hours of Pez 2021's co-op, right? So it is a huge thing. There's also a couple of other bits and pieces. We did get this tweet that was out on the official Play eFootball Twitter account. And it says that we were planning to release the eFootball 2023 V2.6 update on the 8th of June, which is tomorrow. Check out the link below. And when we check on the link, it is the same as the in-game message that we have here. So literally, lads, you have two sides of the fence, right? You have whether you like these kind of stealth uh, kind of drops where it's like, yeah, there's an update coming tomorrow. We're going to go into co-op with the beta. We'll get into all of that. Right. So when we get into the game here, it says the same thing, but it also says that details regarding the following features as well as other additional features will be introduced at a later date. Didn't we talk about what is coming in V2.6, right? So... Look, lads, I tried to tell you in the last live stream that we were doing, I told you that we were going to be getting something big very soon. And, you know, it's great to see that co-op now is being put to the forefront because I think that is kind of the future of Dream Team, especially having it there as an option, right? They also are talking about adding a new feature for users to reset progression points using GP. So I talked about that as well. We'll show you an example of that, um, of how I think it might work. We did this on live stream as well. Additional number of substitutes for Dream Team, just, just to bring it in line that you can bring on more substitutes. And then the big mama itself, the co-op beta test, which is designed to access online performance, similar to the beta online performance test that they did way back when before the release of eFootball at all. And it says that the test is scheduled to run from the 8th to the 6th to the 22nd to the 6th. So I'm already freeing up days at work, lads. I'm going to probably take a few days holidays to actually just sit down and play co-op with you lads um, and, and genuinely just give this beta the best crack that we can, get the numbers there, get people actually, you know, giving good feedback and see what the connection is like because you have a couple of things that need to be balanced, I suppose, in terms of connections, in terms of region, in terms of filters, all that sort of stuff. But look, it's, it's a positive. It's the biggest update that we've got, you know, in months, I would say, especially the fact that, you know, something as small, it's not small, but something as, as, as kind of, you know, I'll put it in the brackets of should have been there before now, um, as using the, the reset progression points, that is, that is potentially huge down the line and how that works. You're going to be using GP for it. So we had seen a lot of stuff like that. We had seen a lot of talk about it. Um, but now it's finally confirmed, right? So it's going to be interesting to see what will happen after the 22nd of June. Okay. But when we actually go in here, I've said this before um, at the moment with the my team, for anybody that's new to the game or anybody that has not been playing the game for a long period of time, or even for somebody that has been playing the game for a long period of time and has made a lot of mistakes with their cards um, because of the changes to the gameplay, not understanding what works, not understanding what was really kind of like what needed to be upgraded. I've made the mistakes myself. So if you go back and I sort out my video or sort out my players from date of signing, these are the players that I signed on day one, right? So we had Patrick Vieira and we had Romario, right? So I'll just give you two examples of them, okay? Um, without really understanding when I first started playing the game, we're talking about within the first 10 minutes of playing the game, when I trained up Patrick Vieira with the trainer progression points, I just pumped all the trainers into his stats and ignored his team play style proficiency. So you can see here on the right side of the screen, just under my head, you can see there that Vieira only has 75 as his max uh, play style proficiency across the board. Okay. Now this was before, and it still is the same with standard players. If you go into standard players here, they all have this. So you can boost up the team play style proficiency of the player. Um, but the new players that they are releasing and that they have been releasing for the last couple of uh, months, every new player that they release has now got a team play style proficiency 
that is set at 90. So this means that you can play this player, any player, you don't need to waste any trainer progression points on the team play style proficiency. But a lot of people made that issue, made that mistake when they originally had players and there's no way of resetting it, right? So say, for example, I had trained up somebody um, that I wanted to keep in my squad and I'm thinking to myself, damn, I made a bit of a mistake here with Romario because he can't play my team play style proficiency and get a 100 team play style. Not that it makes a massive difference. It's just kind of a visual thing and it's a bit of a teammate boost as well. I would potentially be able to now have an action in here where it will say instead of all of these, there will be one more where it will say player, uh, you know, progression reset. Um, you click on that and then it will charge you a percentage of GP. It might cost you 250. It might cost you 500. We don't know how much GP it's going to cost. I would say it's going to use the same system as the skill training um, that you dare when you add extra skills there. So I would say that they'll use the same sort of stuff there. OK, um, but again, look, that is huge. That is huge for somebody that, um, you know, has built a player that wants to continue using their favorite player. But they might want to give him a bit of a rebirth. They might want to give him, you know, uh, like an extra stat or two in acceleration or an extra stat or two in defensive capabilities um, compared to what they'd previously given him or say like, right, I don't really shoot a lot. I had pumped in a lot of shooting into one of my wingers like Neymar, but I don't shoot a lot. It's not my game play style. Um, you know, that's not how I break down opponents. I can actually take away, reset the progression, take away his shooting stats and pump him into dribbling, pump him into passing. So I think it's good, man. And then obviously for co-op, we don't need any introduction to co-op, lads. Genuinely, I think co-op for me is probably the biggest like thing that we're going to have from a community standpoint, right? I know we still have get yet to get news on Master League, still have yet to get news on, you know, playing normal divisions. Um, but I personally, for me, I have been waiting for co-op, I think, since launch. Co-op to me in PES 2021, I played, I would say 95% of my hours. I never played uh, the 1v1 experience in PES 2021. It was all co-op. Literally, I had a couple of groups that I used to play with, and 3v3 was where it was at for me, especially couch co-op. My like brother would come over and we'd sit down and play on the same console against online. It was brilliant, man. You had a guest feature. Um, so yeah, there's lots of stuff to be excited about. And look, the last thing I will say, lads, is I try, you know, I try to say this all the time, right? There's always going to be rumors. There's always going to be clickbait stuff. There's always going to be people pretending that they're in the know about things and people that are just putting out stuff and seeing what sticks, right? I think at the moment, the way that the game is going to be updated is we're going to get kind of updates like this where it's left last minute um, because I think they're still working on how to implement everything the way they want to implement it. And I like the fact, personally speaking, get in touch in comments below, but I like the fact that, you know, we're going into a beta test with it or a beta test with it with the co-op because it gives you an alternative to playing the 1v1 experience, number one. But also, they're not just plunking it down and saying, listen, this is what we're offering with co-op, right? Like it or lump it for the next 12 months. They're saying, right, this is what we're going to test out. We're going to see how it holds up playing different players, you know, matching different players in a squad. Um, you know, will we have drop in, drop out co-op? Uh, will we have other things that they didn't have in PES 2021? But I like the fact that they're like doing it in beta first instead of just dropping it and saying, yeah, this is it for the next 12 months. And I think that that's probably the way to go until they're very sure about what they're wanting to do. I think that's the best way to do it. Put it out, get a few feelers for it, let people play it. Anything that they like about it, brilliant. Anything that we don't like about it, we can feed back, you know, and, and vote by, by playing it and actually giving feedback, you know, across hashtags or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I am going to be doing a big co-op stream tomorrow. Anybody that wants to get it can get it. We will be doing a big co-op stream tomorrow. So yeah, that is just an update on co-op for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, bringing you up to date and, uh, we will be back soon and yeah, back tomorrow with a big stream lads and I'll talk to you then. Peace.